Lawrence. The ball pops out. I think they will rule him down. Rashard Lawrence and Greg Gilmore sandwiched him for the sack. Williams unable to turn the corner. Devin White tracking. Kirk in the slot. They go to the slam. That's intercepted. Andreas Williams. They call him greedy for a reason. He's got his fifth pick of the year. of Tigers Roar. I am Tommy Chrysan, Jordy Hulberg, away from the desk this week, scheduled to be back next. We opened up with a little LSU hype video for you as it's not game week, but it's almost game week. Next week, in fact, will be game week for the LSU Tigers. Coach Orr's on the team broke camp last week, as he called it. They've already begun preparations for the contest on Sunday night, September 2 in Miami against in Arlington against the Miami Hurricanes. The Associated Press poll came out Monday of this week, and your LSU Tigers ranked 25. Uh, Buddy Saji said he thought they'd be 24 or 25. I'll give credit where credit's due. They came in at 25. LSU 25 in the Associated Press poll. Five teams that are ranked above them do appear on LSU's schedule this year. So the Tigers at 25 in the AP poll, which follows up the ranking of 24 in the coaches poll. If they can beat Miami in that open week, they would certainly climb a couple of notches. Should they happen to lose, obviously they would be backing on down out of there. Don't forget we will have the Pelican Sports post game show immediately following all of the LSU football games, including that Sunday night against the Miami Hurricanes. You see the 25 ranking in the AP poll, as we mentioned, and we will have the post game show. Buddy Sanji and I, most importantly, your texts, your phone calls, all coming right at you and immediately following the LSU games. That's the key. Your text, your phone calls right after the game, roughly 10 p.m. on that Sunday night. The next day, that Monday the 3rd, is the Labor Day holiday, uh, so a lot of folks won't be uh, having to go to work. The post-game shows on both radio and TV, Pelican Sports TV and WUBR, the smartphones, the Internet, 
uh, the computers, the mobile devices, all that good stuff. It will repeat that Monday morning uh, at 9 a.m. on to TVN in case you missed it. We're going to take a break. When we come back, we've got some Ed Orgeron for you after preseason game number two, as he called it, scrimmage number two. And we'll do all of that right after this pause on Pelican Sports TV. You're watching Tigers Roar. Wait for tonight. Where are we meeting? Tonight? Day night? Oh. Find sushi restaurant. Let's try Wasabi Sushi. Route to sushi. The destination is on your left. Play our song. Pioneer in Dash Systems with Apple CarPlay. Get yours installed today at your local Mesa retailer. Hi, I am Dr. Farrell Frugier, Jr., and I am a general dentist at Frugier Family Dentistry. I was born and raised in Baton Rouge, Louisiana. I went to Catholic High School, LSU, and LSU School of Dentistry in New Orleans, where I received my DDS degree in 1986. I always have and will continue to be committed to continuing my education, to invest in technology, which makes the diagnosis and delivery of dentistry more thorough, more comfortable, and more aesthetically pleasing. In our practice, we are here to serve the patients. We want to improve their quality of life and to develop relationships with our patients. In dentistry, we have a chance to impact lives on a daily basis, not just by doing dentistry, but by getting to know them and being a part of their life. We also believe in giving back to our community. So every year, we give back to the Greater Baton Rouge Food Bank, Toys for Tots, and Mary Bird Perkins Cancer Center. Please stop by and visit our office. We would love to take care of you and your family. Hi, I'm Jordy Helper for Tremonti's Meat and Seafood Market at 12451 Old Jefferson Highway. Chairman's Reserve Steaks, their pork, their chicken, their seafood, top of the line. Primo barbecue pits, Icy Tech coolers, they can go anywhere and cater anything for you. Go to 751-7665 to call Tremonti's Meat and Seafood Market, where good meat ain't cheap and cheap meat ain't good. Tremonti's Meat and Seafood Market. Are you ready for this year's formal events? It's weddings, homecoming, Mardi Gras, prom, pageants. Debbie's Bridal is having an inventory blowout sale. Don't be left out. Prices range from 20% off to 80% off. Happening now. Debbie's Bridal, Burnside in Gonzales. Cypress Lake Apartments are conveniently located off Segan Lane in Baton Rouge, a CLK multifamily management property. Come see this community which has many amenities including swimming pools, fitness room, playground and much more. One, two and three bedroom apartments. Stop by Cypress Lake Apartments, call 225-293-6789 or go online, live at cypresslakeapts.com. Roar here on Pelican Sports TV. I am Tommy Chrysan. Don't forget to follow us on Facebook, 
Facebook page is Pelican Broadcasting. Twitter account at Pelican Sports. Great way to keep up with all that we do. Don't forget YouTube.com slash Pelican Broadcasting, our YouTube channel where you can catch this show at your convenience and many other things that we do here at Pelican Sports TV. This past Saturday, it was preseason game number two, as dubbed by Coach Ed Orgeron. Here are part of his comments after that scrimmage. All right, now, uh, on that scrimmage, we've had a very successful camp. The guys came to camp with a great attitude, great mindset. I think throughout the camp, uh, we've identified some leaders on our football team. We had a leadership committee meeting on Wednesday night. The players had a player-only meeting on Wednesday night. And guys got together, made some decisions about some things that we want, what we want to be about as a football team. And uh, I'm very proud of our football team. I'm proud of our coaching staff for the job that they did at camp. Obviously, it's time to hit somebody else on Monday. Uh, we're going to correct some things that we can correct from the scrimmage. And we're going to move on to Miami and have two weeks to prepare for the University of Miami. Player of stats today, passing Miles Brennan was 5 and 19. Uh, 47 yards, one interception. Joe was 10 of 24, uh, 120 yards, one touchdown, one interception. Rushing Chris Curry had eight carries for 35 yards. He showed some things today, he broke some tackles. Uh, he was healthy, ready to go. Nick Brosette had six carries, 16 yards. Uh, Leonard Fournette carried the ball five for 13 today. Receiving our leading receiver was Terrence Marshall. He had three receptions for 44 yards. One touchdown, Foster Morrow caught two balls, and then the rest of the guys were only one down the road. The defense, we had a, a very dominant day again on defense today. DeMond Clark, the freshman from Southern Lab, had an excellent day today. Had five tackle, tackle for a loss in a sack. Jacob Phillips had five tackles. Tyler Shelvin had his best scrimmage. He had four tackles, a tackle for a loss. Michael Divinity had his best scrimmage. We had some guys that are first or second team guys that are Rotating guys on defense that did very well. Okay, Cole Tracy was one or two on his field goals. Overall, thought that we had a very good day. We practiced most situations that we could. All of the um, situations on uh, special team we practiced, except our punt return team will be uh, scrimmaging that next week. Any questions? Um, for Friday, did any of your coaching staff do you know about the uh, incidents with Drake Davis? You know, Drake Davis is a legal matter, and I won't make any other comments on it. Um, I noticed you guys have said he's suspended indefinitely to remain on the team. And Excuse me? Is he going to remain with him? Uh, Drake Davis is suspended indefinitely. Uh, Drake Davis is a legal matter, and I won't make any other comments. When you take into consideration suspensions and quarterback <clears throat> transfers, at any point, is, does there maybe feel like just a distraction? inside the locker room that you got to address? Yeah, I think the leadership of the team has been fantastic. We'll block out the noise. There'll, there'll be stuff during the season that we're going to have to handle. I think the maturity of this football team has shown that we block out the noise and we move on, we take the next step, we'll deal with the matter at hand, and we move on. What did you see from the quarterbacks today? I thought uh, they threw the ball well. You know, I think that they made some good decisions in two minutes. Uh, there was a lot of drop pass. Uh, I thought a lot of uh, pass along the money. But they were a lot better than that. <laughs> Have there been any updates with Ed Ingram's situation? Or, you know, again, you know, that, that's a legal matter, and uh, I'm not going to make any comment on Was the offensive line better, same, than last yeah, I thought week? I thought the protection was a lot better today. There weren't as many sacks. I wasn't calling sacks. The only way you can get a sack today is if you came free. Uh, there would be a <coughs> but Obviously, we couldn't get our quarterback live. I told the rushers to buzz off. They couldn't even get close to the quarterback. So. You know, there could have been a lot more sacks today, a lot less sacks. You don't know in a lot of situations, but there's a lot less sacks than there were the first scrimmage. A lot less penalties than there were on the offensive line, and a lot less holding. I thought they made some improvement today. Are you any closer to naming a starter for the quarterbacks going into prep week? Not yet. Not yet. We were talking about it as a staff. I think there are some things that we need to see this week and uh, make that decision. The, the two quarterbacks, obviously, the percentage wasn't good. So, I mean, you said that you thought they threw the ball well. So, where was the. There's a lot of drop passes today. 
I mean, uh, there was an unusual amount of drop passes, so we need to get better at that. I thought the, they threw a lot of good passes. Uh, we had a lot of young guys out there. We didn't catch the ball well. We need to make some improvement on that next week. You mentioned Chris Curry standing out. What exactly, so broken tackles, can you guys, I guess, share a little bit more about what you did? So Power runner. Run the ball inside and between the tackles. Has enough speed to go outside, but it thought he lowered his shoulder pads and he made a lot of runs in between the tackles today. The wide receivers, uh, Coach Sullivan, he's improved their route running. They just need to finish. Is that? I believe that more catches they have, you know, uh, more live situation. There was a lot of freshmen out there today uh, and a lot of missed uh, miss catches. I think that uh, next week our focus is going to be on catching the football the next two weeks and put them in as many full speed situations we can so they can't catch the football. Is it, is it kind of an attitude right now of hopefully all the bad stuff's behind you and the guys that are on the team right now, let's rally and, and march towards that season opener? The guys are focused, yeah. The guys are focused. Um, uh, today's the last day of camp, so I'm not happy about that. I think everybody's going to be looking forward to a game plan on Miami starting Monday, and that's our focus. More questions and answers with Coach Orsron in just a minute. But as you, as I mentioned, and of course he mentioned in the video, they did break camp after that scrimmage this past Saturday, and going to take two weeks to prepare for the Miami Hurricanes. Uh, they will, there will be another scrimmage on, on this coming Saturday uh, for them to further evaluate, further make some decisions, and maybe start filling out that depth chart. A lot of the stuff's already known; some of it is not known as of yet. And of course, next week it's truly. Game week as Coach Orson Ronald starts with his press conferences and all that good stuff, and we'll be rocking and rolling here on Tigers Roar. Here's some more of the question and answers with Coach Orson after preseason game number two, the scrimmage last Saturday. As a general sense, in terms of you know, attitude towards women and stuff, what do you try to convey to your players? What do you want them to know in, in, in their, yeah. as a team? As a team, yeah, do the right thing. It's always about doing the right thing. It's always about protecting the team. We, our, I think our administration does a great job of educating our guys the do's and the don'ts. Uh, we bring several speakers. We have uh, several seminars for our football team throughout the year. Does the, the players only meeting, does that stem from the extracurricular stuff that's kind of happened with you know, the program? I think in camp stuff happens, uh, every camp. And instead of having a players only meeting, uh, after you lose the game, we identify some things that we need to get better at in the leadership committee, and they want to talk to the team. And a couple of things they want to get to take care of. Did, I, you didn't mention Clyde, did he skirmish today? Yeah, he did. Uh, okay. see what he, he had a couple, he's just coming back from injury, and he had a couple of runs. He had three runs. What, Giles and Jefferson, did they scrimmage? Did yeah, not much. Jefferson scrimmaged a little bit. Uh, he had one catch for six yards. Giles did not scrimmage. Did Moss scrimmage? Yep. Oh, okay. Is he still taking the slope? Yeah. <clears throat> Was today about identifying freshmen that are going to start to play early, get them get the ones that are going to play early and, and a lot ready to go? Not so, not, not so much. It was, it was getting all stuff in. It was more or less get the last scrimmage in, full speed work before we start game planning. End up putting guys in a lot of situ situation one more time. Tackling last. You guys know we, you want you said you haven't done punt return yet. You know we want to work at kicking punt return? Yeah, we need to check this week. We've got a couple of guys. We know we got Giles, obviously. Uh, we've got Jefferson, but we haven't made a decision yet. These final two weeks, you're, you're practicing hard, but you're also kind of healing some guys up. Is that kind of the approach? Yeah, no question. We need to get healed up. We banged up a little bit yet, but most of the things are just regular camp injuries, and most of the guys I expect to be back for the ball game. I think they need to get their legs back, get back fresh. Uh, we did a lot of banging. We did a lot of hitting. This was a physical camp. A lot of soreness should be alleviated, a lot of shoulders, a lot of banged up knees, stuff like that. All stuff is going to heal. How has uh, Kelvin Joseph looked, and how do you evaluate really his uh, progression? Really good. Uh, he has some batted balls. Uh, he played a lot with the first team today. He has a strong possibility of start. We have not named him a starter yet, but it's a strong possibility that he could start. He continues to keep working opposite uh, Grady? Yes, and he, he's doing a very good job. You said this was going to be a big offensive installation week. I guess how far along are you guys there right now? I think we're ready. 
ready to go. Obviously, there's some tweaking that we need, but we've covered most situations. Uh, we have backed up and backed up in four minutes to cover next week. Other than that, we've covered all situations. We put everything in, and uh, because of injuries, we haven't put in a specific uh, big goal line package because of the uh, injuries that tight end and fullback. But I'm sure we're going to put that in next week. Other than that, we should be fine. Was was Gary Vincent the nickel tonight? Yeah, Gary played both. Played both, yes. And, and also uh, Alexander, he's doing a good job. Alexander is uh, one of the best guys that we signed. Do you, do you think you're any closer to siding on a right tackle? Excuse me? Do you think you're any closer on the siding on a right tackle? Uh, you know, we're going to watch the film. Obviously, the grade's going to come in. We're going to have a big personnel meeting uh, next this Sunday. This I will need to. Rashard, I know, missed like three days of practice last week. He, he sat out today. Who's that? Rashard. No, he played. He played the first half. Him and Alexander played the first half. Did really well. They pushed it through. That's a little nagging injuries. But both of those guys played today. Has, has the offense been more pro style since the change? You kind of mentioned like who would be left and yeah. who would go. Is that kind of what it's like? Yeah, you know, we, we've run the same place. Probably not as many quarterback runs as those two guys that would have, would have run. That left us, but other than that, it's probably the same. And, and you mentioned the, you know, the, their stats today at quarterback. I mean, with those two there, you said maybe it might be a little more clean, or at least more, you know, than it was last week. Did you see that today from that? Yeah, I thought they looked good. I thought that uh, I thought both of the boys threw the ball well. I thought they had a good week of practice. Tuesday and Wednesday was their best practice. Uh, they, they made a lot of deep balls. They made a lot of connections with our receivers. Uh, today, I thought they threw the ball well. We just had some drop pass. You you know what you've got in Devin White as a linebacker, but you seem to be really high on Phillips and Clark going through camp. How have they done? Well, I'm most proud of both of them, really. But, uh, and also Patrick Queen. Now, he suffered some injuries, and he came along today, and he was playing today, playing hard. I'm most proud of Jacob. Jacob uh, came in here as the number one linebacker in the country, uh, battled through some things, uh, fought. And now he's become a complete player. I think that uh, he's ready to have an outstanding year. The ball clock keeps on showing, like, and he did today. He's a playmaker. He's very smart. And it, so is Patrick Queen. So we have some depth in the linebacker. One more for Coach. Well, Cat, in the short yardage, uh, I guess, package that you mentioned for, for Narcisse, have you guys addressed that yet? Have you scrapped it? Yeah, we're going to address it, but uh, we didn't run none of it today. Do you think there's a specific guy that maybe kind of can fill that role that, sure. that maybe fits in? Of course. Yeah, we got a lot of good athletes on our team. We give the ball to the Thank you, Coach. All right, thank you, guys. <laughs>Lots of up and down so far through the fall camp, you know, with players transferring, players getting suspended, a couple little minor injuries that, that have occurred. But the coaching staff just got to keep gearing forward. September 2nd will be here before they know it. They're going to have to show up, going to have to play the Miami Hurricanes. So some more questions will get answered this coming Saturday uh, in the final scrimmage. And then it's, it's game week. School started for all LSU students uh, on the campus this past week. So uh, lots to happen out there for this football team as they continue to get ready. And when you read all the national stuff, even the local stuff, I mean, it's all or nothing. Some people think this team's going to be really, really good. Win eight, nine games, get a lucky break, maybe win ten. Other people thinking, hey, they, they can't get more than seven wins when you look at the schedule. The schedule on paper is very tough. It may not be as tough at the end of the year. Time will tell. We're going to take a break. When we come back, it'll be our weekly segment with Mike Scarborough of TigerBait.com talking about recruiting, his thoughts and observations on everything happening with LSU football. Mike Scarborough is up next right after this pause on Pelican Sports TV. Stay with us. Creel Tree Service is a licensed and insured tree service providing tree and stump removal, topping, trimming, cabling, pruning, and fertilizing. We have free stump removal with takedowns, free estimates, affordable rates, and senior citizens discounts. Call 774-TREE. That's 774-8733. Get your yard ready for the warmer weather. If it deals with a tree, call me, Creel Tree Service, 774-8733. That's 774-TREE. Window. Experience. Window. 
When my wife and I started Relief Windows, what we were trying to do, what our goal was, to give a quality job to a homeowner. Everybody's scared of contractors. We wanted to change the mold of what that is. Not showing up on time, not answering the phone, somebody running with your money. The reason why you should pick Relief Windows to do your renovation of your home, windows, doors, hardy planker siding, is because of the experience, quality, service of our company. Service is everything we have. It's the foundation of our company. We're gonna show up on time, we're gonna do the job right. Over 60% of our customers is customer referral. We're a local company here in Baton Rouge, built in Baton Rouge, staying in Baton Rouge. Okay. The job's not done until you're happy and we're happy. It's built the old-fashioned way, with a handshake. Here at Relief Windows, it's an honor to be official window door and signing company of LSU Athletics from one winning team to another. They said I could find you here. Why are you fishing? Our company's got to ship out two full color brochures and 20 color copies. You're killing me! It's done. Designed, printed, packaged, and shipped. How? You just gotta know the right people. Baker Printing, the printing people. How come you get to fish in this private lake? Like I said, you just gotta know the right people. You can know the right people too. The Acord Eye Clinic has moved to a new office. Just minutes from the old office at 8280 YMCA Plaza Drive, Building 9. Dr. Shonda Acord and her staff welcome patients of all ages, including children and adults. They have a wide variety of frames and sunglasses, including Maui Jim. The Acord Eye Clinic features modern instruments and state-of-the-art technology including digital retinal scanning with Optomap. Hard to fit contact lenses, as well as professional care and service. Open Monday through Friday, eight till five. Call for an appointment, 225-767-EYES and visit the website, visionsource-br.com. The Acord Eye Clinic looks forward to seeing you is an important announcement. If you're between 50 and 85 and worried about your loved ones, you can still get affordable life insurance for peace of mind. My life insurance coverage is guaranteed and I was not required to get a medical exam. I had high blood pressure and diabetes and I got my coverage with one telephone call. No exam necessary. I'm a smoker and I wanted to take care of my family. I called to get my life insurance and my affairs in order. I wanted to do the right thing. Call Final Expense No Exam Insurance. Your rates are guaranteed and will never increase. I called and learned that this insurance cannot be canceled, even if you get sick or gain weight. And there are no restrictions on how my beneficiaries use the money when I'm gone. Approval was easy, and the price was right. I wanted to do this for my children. Call 800-654-9927-800-654-9927. We continue with Tiger's Roar right here on Pelican Sports TV. I am Tommy Chrysler. It's now time for our weekly visit with Mike Scarborough of TigerBait.com. We're going to tell you all about TigerBait.com in just a few minutes. First off, good evening, Mike. How are you? Hey, I'm doing great. I'm glad to hear that. Uh, loving the new website, and we'll talk about that more in a minute. I know last uh, latter part of last week you were out at Dunham High School for a high school scrimmage. Of course, Derek Stingley Jr. and LSU commitment is the big story, I guess, when you go to see Dunham. Tell us, what did you see in him? What did you see at the scrimmage overall? Well, it's, it's you know, to go out there to a scrimmage and you get to see the number one ranked player in the country right here in Baton Rouge. And uh, it was a scrimmage. You know, they were doing situational work and getting JV involved and, uh, but to see him out there, it's it you know it's, uh, they were they were against Bruley, and um, you know he's just a, a man amongst boys out there physically. And um, uh, when I had a chance to interview him afterwards and talking about, well, you know it's it's you're you're now heading to your senior year. All the uh, camps and seven on seven work in the off season, uh, you know uh, this network and that network having events uh, anywhere in the country, all that stuff's over. He, he's going to have his senior year, and then he's going to sign, and then he'll be uh, on a college campus. And, uh, 
he, he's relishing the increased competition, which when you're, when you're a marquee athlete, particularly that plays defensive back in high school football, you really don't have a whole lot of balls thrown your way. Um, not only do not a lot of high schools throw the football, um, but it, they certainly don't throw. They, they, they're very cognizant of where he is on the field. So, and of course, he's involved on offense and lines up at receiver and uh, special teams and, and, and so forth. But um, I have a feeling that a lot of people in, in the area are going to be wanting to go check out a Dunham game uh, this coming season to, to see what LSU's top uh, commitment and, uh, looks like. Well, and you kind of walked right into my next question. Obviously, he's a uh, high-rated defensive back, but he's doing plenty else on the field at Dunham. Coach Neil Weiner's probably not going to want to have the guy come off the field much at all. No, no, no. And, and, I, and I got a chance to briefly talk with Coach Weiner uh, after the scrimmage and, uh, you know, asked him what it's like, you know, for him and his program to have uh, the, the number one ranked prospect in the country on his roster because, you know, look, it, it's, uh, you know, these jamborees, these scrimmages, uh, these out-of-district games, uh, you know, the, 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 those are money uh, for your program. It, help, it helps you pay the bills, uh, make your facilities better. It's, it's, so, you know, you know you're going to have more than just uh, parents and family members and students at, at your games when you've got a prospect like him. And then from a recruiting standpoint, it, it, it gives other players on that field an opportunity to be seen by college coaches because they're going to be coming out to see him play. Um, so it, it's just uh, it, it's a big deal when, when, I, when a high school program is lucky enough to have a kid like that come, to, uh, come through their school. Well, like you said, it's not going to be a normal Friday night for Dunham football, whether it's a home game or an away game. Uh, and I, that's a good thing. I think it's good for high school football. It's good for Dunham, as no, you it, said. It, and it happens all the time where college coaches are watching tape on one player and then they notice another one. It, 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 it's a positive for his teammates and, it, it, and also opponents right. on that field because then it gives another kid an opportunity to be seen by, by college coaches. Now, is uh, uh, Stingley Jr., is he going to sign in the early signing period? Has that been determined yet? And is he an early enrollee guy? I, I don't know the particulars on that. Yeah, uh, he's supposed to be an early signee, so we'll see. Okay. All right, Mike, you've been out to practice a little bit. Coach Orgeron, the Tiger football team, they let the media in for roughly 20, 25 minutes. What are some of your observations now that they've got you know several weeks into this camp? What's jumping out at Mike Scarborough? Well, I, I, it, it's, you know, in talking to Brian Lazar, who's been at every single one of them, um, you know, it, it's, you, you're looking at the, the quarterbacks, and since the, it's been cut in half amongst the scholarship quarterbacks, uh, it, it sure seems like Burroughs, you know, comes more into focus and, and expected to be the guy. Um, but obviously had the second scrimmage on Saturday. We saw the statistics. Um, you can debate whether how accurate they are, um, but you, you, you're still. You, you would love to hear coming out of the next scrimmage uh, that the that the offense uh, has afforded itself better than the first two. Um, and now I guess that would kind of be with what you expect with Aranda and his guys on on one side, a new quarterback, uh, an offensive line trying to find its way running backs trying to find their way, a new receivers coach. Um, you sure hope by the third week of, of practice that the offense starts to, to click and find their way and make some things happen, even against a defense like Dave Aranda's. Well, yeah, I'm not surprised that the defense is ahead of them at this point in time. I think that's typical in most schools across this country, but you're right. The offense, with all the question marks going into the fall camp and now into the preparation for Miami, uh, sitting there, you, you got you got to you got to see something more this coming week. And you know, it's not open to the public, not open to the media, but uh, we'll get the comments from yeah, Coach O. And, and here's the other thing: so, you know, we're counting down to the Miami kickoff. So you you, you want to come out of <clears throat> this the, the last scrimmage before game week, hearing that uh, you got everybody healthy. No injuries, particularly on the offensive line. Um, and then I guess uh, maybe you hold your breath 
uh, through the game week and, uh, you know, kickoff. Uh, the last thing you want to hear is uh, 30 minutes before kickoff that uh, this one, that one, another one aren't dressed out. And, you know, it's that, that time where you, you're finding about uh, some suspensions that you didn't know about. Hey, Mike, TigerBait.com, the, the revamp site uh, from a couple of weeks ago. It's looking great. Uh, I'm a frequent visitor. Tell everybody all about TigerBait.com and how and why they should subscribe right now. That's it. Uh, go to TigerBait.com. For $1, you can get access to all our premium content for a whole month. Uh, so, I mean, you, you get that now, you're carried uh, through the busy month of September. Uh, get a chance to be a part of our all-day chat that uh, we've been doing. We've been at every practice. we got video from every practice. been posting a lot of recruiting updates. Um, our, our, I think our practice coverage uh, has been second to none with our practice reports. And uh, you, you can get on TigerBait.com, experience it all for a dollar. We've been sending out newsletters, uh, which our newsletters are free. Uh, go to our site, and you'll see a register for that. Um, if you're an LSU fan, uh, if you give uh, Tiger Bait a look, I think you're really going to love the new website, and it looks great on your cell phone. There you go, uh, Mike Scarborough. TigerBait.com. Many of you are already all about it. If you're not, you need to check it out ASAP. ASAP TigerBait.com. Mike, thanks so much. We'll visit next week, and it'll be game week. All right. Looking forward to it. Talk soon. All right, Mike Scarborough, like we said, game week is next week. We're going to take a break. When we come back, we've got Braden Fajaco talking about that LSU uh, football team and a little bit about their mindset. A couple other things that we have for you here on this week's edition of uh, Tigers Roar. Uh, don't forget, if you miss it on Wednesday night, it repeats on the Pelican Friday nights and Saturday mornings and mid-morning Thursday, available at youtube.com slash pelican broadcast. And we'll come back with some more. LSU football stuff for you right after this pause on Pelican Sports TV. These trips were like before you put the screens in the back seats. <laughs> I don't want to think about it. <laughs> are we there yet? I'm hungry. Where are we? Go, go, go. That game should keep them occupied. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Dad. Oh, in your face. Don't make me get back there. You don't need a new car to have new technology. Mike's Audio, conveniently located on Airline Highway near the corner of Blue Bonnet. Bolello's Furniture and Appliances, your dependable independent. Depend on us for service, for selection, for price. Get huge Whirlpool savings. Shop now and save on Whirlpool appliances throughout the store. Plus, experience our price match guarantee and ask about special financing. You can depend on the know-how of people who live appliances every day. Bolello's Furniture and Appliances, your dependable independent with nationwide buying power. Hi, I am Dr. Farrell Frugier, Jr., and I am a general dentist at Frugier Family Dentistry. I was born and raised in Baton Rouge, Louisiana. I went to Catholic High School, LSU, and LSU School of Dentistry in New Orleans, where I received my DDS degree in 1986. 
I always have and will continue to be committed to continuing my education, to invest in technology, which makes the diagnosis and delivery of dentistry more thorough, more comfortable, and more aesthetically pleasing. In our practice, we are here to serve the patients. We want to improve their quality of life and to develop relationships with our patients. In dentistry, we have a chance to impact lives on a daily basis, not just by doing dentistry, but by getting to know them and being a part of their life. We also believe in giving back to our community. So every year, we give back to the Greater Baton Rouge Food Bank, Toys for Tots, and Mary Bird Perkins Cancer Center. Please stop by and visit our office. We would love to take care of you and your family. For total home pest control, who are you going to call? Call the bug man, 923-BUG. For total pest control for your home or business, call the original Salvat. Call the bug man today, 923-BUGS. We continue with Tigers Roar when talking about the LSU defense. It starts with Devin White and Greedy Williams. Preseason All-America is almost any poll, any All-American team you look at, those two guys are there. Do not forget about Braden Fajoko, a defensive end who's going to make a lot of noise this year. We got some video with him uh, talking about the mindset of this year's LSU football team. It was good. We played Baylor. It was a Thanksgiving game. So that was the last game I got to play. Uh, it's kind of a coincidence that my first game back is the last game I played there. So I'm excited. How's camp been going? Uh, you missed a couple of days. How you feeling? How's the entire defensive line? They missed a couple of guys yesterday. Yeah, I think you just get into the grind of camp. Guys get minor nicks and bumps along the way. But, you know, thankful for Coach Owen, Jack Marucci, those guys, they allow us to heal. Um, coming up, I have a big game Miami, but as far as the D-line, everybody's good, everybody's healthy, everybody's ready to go. Um, nothing major, nothing really at all. Just, you know, you get those camp grinds along the way. Is this the grindiest week of all because you're so close but still a week away? I mean, is it really, is this when it kind of hits you guys with school starting and everything? Yeah, I mean, I guess we're all excited to go to school. <laughs> um, but uh, I think the grind really was towards like mid last week and uh, towards the end of that, coming to preseason game two. And then a little bit of this week because guys are starting to, you know, settle down a little bit. But you kind of want to push the gas a little bit more. Um, going into Miami now, shifting our focus. You want to make sure that guys are staying on track. And especially, like I said, with school coming in, um, you know, you got to be able to prioritize everything. There's a lot going on around the team outside of the locker room. How do you guys focus on the football and hold each other accountable? <laughs> yeah, I think we, we just, the next man up, I mean, we, we kind of don't focus on the the, the outside distractions that, you know, try to affect the interior, you know, heart of our team. We really don't let that get to us. I mean, we're one team, one heartbeat. Um, the guys in the locker room are closer than ever now. Uh, we lean on each other. We stick on each other. And we just keep moving forward. That's what we do as a team. That's what we do as a brotherhood. Is it more important now to, to grab the guy next to you and make sure he's doing what's right every day? I think we, we do that regardless of the situation. I mean, not just because of the, the things that are going on, but, um, we have such a good program here that everybody's keeping each other accountable, you know, at 365 days, 24-7. Um, and I'm so thankful that we have great coaches and, and great mentoring and, and, you know, support staff that allow us to, you know, be a leader amongst our players, be a leader amongst my peers, um, let them know what's right, what's wrong. And, you know, at the end of the day, we have great guys on this team, and, you know, I wouldn't trade them for anybody else. Top 25 ranking, I guess, you see that yesterday. What are your thoughts on that? I didn't. What would they have us rank? 20, 25? Um, I mean, it doesn't really phase us. Uh, as far as my personal opinion, it doesn't really phase me. Um, never been ranked before. So, I mean, that's a, that's a plus to me. Um, but I think it's better to work your way up the ranks than to stay at the top and, and take a lot of lumps. So, um, I think we're hungry. We have a big chip on our shoulder and we're ready to get out there. We were talking to some of the, the edge rushers yesterday, mm -hmm. yeah. and they felt confident that not only were you guys going to be able to rush from the edge, but people like you were going to get to the quarterback also. How do you feel about the, you guys as pass rushers? Uh, you know, it takes four to get a quarterback sack. Um, there's no one player that just does it all by himself. Um, you know, we have those outside guys working together with us in the middle. Uh, you create a quarterback trap, and so, you know, if I can get good push in the middle, Rashard, Glenn, and we can force those guys outside to Caleb on, Mike, and Andre. Um, we'll be good on the outside, and we'll be good as a D-line getting together to the quarterback. What can you say about Caleb? 
Foster told us yesterday he's one of the quickest guys he's seen. Mm -hmm. He's a he's a leader. I mean, he's he's young, but he's very mature for his age. Going into his true sophomore year, he's matured a lot from last year. Um, you know, I really got to watch him a lot since I redshirted last year, and so uh, to see his growth as a player and as a guy off the field. Um, he's coming along pretty well, and I'm excited for him. He's going to have a breakout year. You know, I put my word on it, and he works hard every day. And so that's why I'm real confident to say something like that. As a guy who has a, a name that's kind of difficult to say, do you, do you, you know, relate to him? Do you have a hard time saying his name? <laughs> um, I usually get a, a little – people think I'm kind of French because they think my last name is Fahoko. They think the – the Cohen last name's E A U X, so I get that a lot. Sometimes, like with my teachers, um, I'm like, "No, I'm Polynesian. I'm from Hawaii." <laughs> They're like, "Okay, well, that's cool." But um, now with Caleb on, he's he's one of my good friends. I mean, we came together last year in the same class, um, not literally, but you know, we came together. And uh, no, just like I said, to see him grow every day, turn into the young man he is, it's awesome. Going back to the leadership to topic, how important do you think it was to have that team meeting and how effective was it? It was awesome. I mean, it's always good when you have a player-led meeting. Um, guys pour out their hearts, and, and that's what you want. Like, as a family, um, things are never going to go right. You know, that's what makes a family a family. You take lumps in the road and, and you fix them. You get together. Not everybody's perfect. Um, and to have that player-led meeting we had last week, we have great leaders on this team. Um, and not just the leaders, but the players. Everybody speaking up, everybody saying what they needed to say, and that's what you want. You want to address the elephant in the room. You want to get everything off your chest now. So, you know, when Miami comes along, comes along, we can just roll on them and not roll on each other. How do you think Jonathan Giles' game is going to transfer? I mean, how's, how's he going to, you know, how, how do you think he's going to do at this, this level, as you see and here at LSU? I think he's good. Uh, I think one of the biggest strengths John does as a receiver is he has a, uh, a high IQ of the game. Um, he's not the fastest out there, and um, he's not the biggest guy, but what he uses to his advantage is he knows how to get open. Um, I've been with him now for three years. I know his strengths. I know his weaknesses. And, I mean, he tells me about it. And so um, he's just a real smart player of the game. He understands coverages as good as I know. Um, and so I'm ready to see him dissect defenses in the SEC, and starting with Miami. That's expected big things out of Braden Fajoko this year. And the uh, young man sounds confident, red shirt last year. He's probably amped up, ready to go. Hey, everybody remembers comic books. If you're old like I am, I remember comic books. They certainly have changed a lot over time. And in some ways, the Internet, which has changed so many things, changed the world of comic books. But we got a little feature for you that was put together, a comic book style for the LSU Miami contest coming up in less than two weeks. The college football playoff has completely changed the game in our sport. I mean, it makes every single game matter that much more. Marvel and ESPN coming together to do these wonderful covers is a great tradition now. We're actually at the point where we've done so many of them that it becomes this tradition that I know our fans look forward to. So LSU and Miami, it's another SEC versus ACC matchup that we normally wouldn't see without the college football playoff. I think for LSU and for Miami, they're both asking the same questions, like, are we going to be national contenders at the end of the season. I think what it does is, is it takes the mascots from being just kind of like a happy, jolly cheerleader or supporter of the fan base and turns them into an action hero. For LSU, it's Mike the Tiger. And Mike the Tiger is pretty cool because he is a costume mascot, but he's also a real tiger that lives on campus. For Miami, it's Sebastian. He is an ibis. And the folklore says that the ibis is actually the last bird or wildlife to leave before a hurricane and the first one to return. So they're not afraid of danger. And so that's kind of the thing that the U or Miami rallies around about their mascot. It's cool to see them almost in a fighting stance or see what would Sebastian look like if he's going up against a tiger? Like, what does that look like? So the cover for Deadly Hands of Kung Fu number 29 is one of Earl Norm's barrage of amazing 70s covers. In this battle, You've got Iron Fist, who brings incredible offense. And then you have Master of Kung Fu Shang-Chi, who's got ultimate defense because he's almost unhittable. It's really cool to see a modern artist like Yvel Gachet take a classic Marvel Comics 70s image by Earl Norm and give it a current spin. 
you have LSU versus Miami. For LSU, it's the eye of the tiger. It's all about defense. For Miami, it's also going to be all about defense. If you remember a season ago, it was all about the turnover chain. In football, as in Marvel Comics, anyone can win at any time. You know, you get the right plays, you get the right opening moments, things just turn. And so now the college football playoff has made every single person excited to start the season. You're not waiting for week eight, you're not waiting for week 10, you're not waiting for championship games. Week one is where it all begins, the race, the hunt to make it to the fifth college football playoff. Just a little piece there, you know, so many things have changed in the way we, we go about getting ready for a big game and whatnot. And, you know, Marvel's been doing that stuff with the comic book. So I thought we'd go ahead and share that with you. It's just another way to get ready for game week, which is next week. Of course, next week it'll be game week, and we'll have all kind of good stuff for you here on Tiger's Roar. We're going to take a break. When we come back, I'm going to tell you about the radio station, a few other things, and help get you ready for next week, which is game week. I am Tommy Christ, and we ask you to spread the roar. You're watching Tiger's Roar right here on Pelican Sports TV, Baton Rouge, Lafayette, New Orleans. Stay with us. I knew I could get myself out of this. I just needed some hope and some help. I took the first step to recovery when I made the call. If you're depressed, drinking, and using drugs, you may need help. And the Affordable Care Act guarantees coverage of substance abuse. Call the Addiction, Hope, and Helpline now for a free assessment. I had problems just getting to sleep, drinking, and using pills every night. I feel like I'm losing control. I'm afraid I'll lose my job or even my family. Are you losing hope? You can recover and get back on track. Call now for hope and help with proven gentle recovery programs. I never thought that I could be somebody who didn't drink and use drugs. I have something to hold on to for strength. I'm in recovery, getting the help I need. Call the Addiction Hope and Helpline now for a free assessment with someone who cares. Call 800-383-8177. 800-383-8177. The Acord Eye Clinic has moved to a new office. Just minutes from the old office at 8280 YMCA Plaza Drive, Building 9. Dr. Shonda Acord and her staff welcome patients of all ages, including children and adults. They have a wide variety of frames and sunglasses, including Maui Jim. The Acord Eye Clinic features modern instruments and state-of-the-art technology, including digital retinal scanning with Optomap, hard-to-fit contact lenses, as well as professional care and service. Open Monday through Friday, 8 till 5. Call for an appointment, 225-767-EYES, and visit the website, visionsource-br.com. The Acord Eye Clinic looks forward to seeing you. They said I could find you here. Why are you fishing? Our company's got to ship out two full color brochures and 20 color copies. You're killing me. It's done. Designed, printed, packaged, and shipped. How? You just got to know the right people. Baker Printing, the printing people. How come you get to fish in this private lake? Like I said, you just got to know the right people. You can know the right people too. Are you ready for this year's formal events? It's weddings, homecoming, Mardi Gras, prom, pageants. Debbie's Bridal is having an inventory blowout sale. Don't be left out. Prices range from 20% off to 80% off. Happening now. Debbie's Bridal, Burnside in Gonzales.
Hi, I'm Bobby Yarborough with Manda Fine Meats. Here at Manda, we know what the folks of South Louisiana love. They love great flavored smoked sausage, delicious deli meats, and specialty items like boudin and andouille sausage. Manda Fine Meats has been providing these products since 1947. We produce them right here in Baton Rouge, so you know you're always getting the freshest product at your local grocery store. Manda Fine Meats. Taste the fresh local flavor in everything we make. Make it Manda every time. Hello, hola, ni hao. Experience what the Baton Rouge International School can offer your children. Now welcoming displaced students for short and long-term stability. you about WUBR, the local lineup, Jordy Hultberg, Buddy Saji, myself. If you like to wager on Friday afternoons, it's Dave Scandaliato from 5 to 6 from Las Vegas with Sportsline. Ken Trahan's original prep report begins next week. We'll put that on the graphic for next week. Also, Louisiana Tech Bulldog football will air again this fall on WUBR. Once again, as we put a wrap on this week's show, LSU ranked 25th in the AP poll. That came out earlier this week. A couple of weeks ago, they were 24 in the coaches' poll. Also, next week, it'll be game week. LSU Miami, 6.30 kick on a Sunday night uh, from Arlington, Texas, the Advocare kickoff classic. And we will have the Pelican Sports postgame show immediately following the game. It's a simulcast, radio and TV, 90-minute program. You can get it on the smartphones, the tablets, the computers, the whole bit. Most important thing about the post-game show, we take your phone calls and your text messages as soon as the game's over. Just give us a couple of minutes once that clock is full of zeros. Buddy Saji and I will be here when we can get reports from the stadium. We will. We'll have all the stats, the analysis, and again, most importantly, your phone calls, your text messages on the post-game show. It will repeat that Monday morning, Labor Day, and then once the season continues, it'll be on Sunday mornings after the Saturday night games. Uh, obviously, the LSU home opener on Saturday night, September 8, against Southeastern. So it's game week next week. All right, I um, want you to remind you, we want to remind you, to check us out on Facebook if you haven't connected yet. The Facebook page is Pelican Broadcasting. Great way to keep up with what we do. All the hunting, the fishing, the outdoor programming all the LSU stuff, and the local shows. The Twitter account is at Pelican Sports. Seems like the whole world's going to Twitter. Read a thing this week that Phil Mickelson is now on Twitter. So I guess that means the whole world is going. All right, uh, appreciate you watching this week's edition of Tigers Roar. It takes a lot of people to put this show together. We thank all of them. Most importantly, we thank you for spreading the roar and watching Tigers Roar here on Pelican Sports TV. Talk to you again soon. time to find out the truth about health insurance. True or false? I can't get health insurance because I missed the open enrollment period. False. If you had a life change such as moving, getting married, having a child or a job loss, you are eligible to buy a new policy. I don't have a life changing event, so I can't get health insurance. False. You can purchase affordable short term policies even if it's not open enrollment. I have to spend hours shopping around for an insurance policy that's right for me. False. Call Healthcare will connect you with licensed agents that do the work for you, comparing hundreds of options, making sure you get a policy that fits all your needs at the best price. Call now and we'll connect you to a licensed agent that will answer all your questions. The call and the service are free, so what are you waiting for? Call Healthcare, getting the coverage you need at a price you can afford. Call now, representatives are standing by to assist you. No one can stop me when I taste the feeling Nothing could ever bring me down Nothing, nothing could ever bring me down
taste the feeling.